Hey, my name is Chris Dancy. Thank you for coming to our neighborhood meeting. I'm going to share with you the system that we're deploying. Uh, for those of you who couldn't join us today, this is recorded, so hopefully you can see this just fine, and we'll go ahead and get through this very quickly, and hopefully everything will start to make sense. Um, the system that we built is to really start to help us get our heads around how to organize and, and get all of our different neighbors together in the same place. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and walk you through some of this right now. So what I noticed was there's a lot of information being shared on our next door. Uh, sometimes it's new stats, sometimes it's medical advice, sometimes it's people wanting to help, sometimes it's people who uh, feel like they need help, just a lot for, for people to take in. And what I wanted to do was create something to marry those two groups mm -hmm. of people. So I wanna walk you through kind of this. For our agenda, the first thing we're gonna do is a little bit of introductions, who I am, uh, why I did this. A purpose of our, our next door group. Uh, next, a review of the system, make it real simple, and then some next steps for our group. So first, introductions. Like I said, my name is Chris Dancy. I'm married. Uh, my spouse and I live here in the neighborhood. We have three pets, one cat named Luna, a dog named Sunny, and a little teeny dog named Rocket. Um, additionally, uh, I am right at York Minster and Sp Cypress Wood, so I'm sure we were part of the flood zone, and my family moved in here in 2018. 52, work in IT infrastructure my entire life. Most of that was in database work. And for the last 10 years, I've been in digital health. Uh, ironically, I, I always tell people I give good Google. So if you're not sure about who I am, you can Google my name. There's lots of videos. I was just showing Netflix, the whole bit. So uh, knock yourself out. Uh, if you want to know more about me and what I do, you can check out my website there. And then my phone number and email address, if anyone in the neighborhood wants to reach out to me personally uh, uh, outside of our group, or if anyone who sees this video uh, is looking for help deploying this in their own neighborhoods. Um, the purpose of this uh, system really is uh, our neighborhood is full of so many very capable people, people with skills, supplies, equipment. Um, and, and some of these people are starting to be in need of help or they're wanting to help. And this is really important. So the system is really divided into three areas. The first area is the help request system. It's the simplest part of the system and it's just a web form where you can ask someone for supplies, equipment, or someone to help you out with something. The second part is the volunteer sign up system. This is where people in our neighborhood who have supplies, equipment, or skills can sign up. And the last one is the routing system. And that routing can be manual like it is today. It can be set up through automation or we can actually view statistics at helpers and, and different types of requests uh, about our neighborhood. So let's jump right into this. The help request system is completely mobile friendly, so you can get to it from your phone. You'll find the link for the help request system in our next door group. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now by requesting some help. So I'm gonna come into our help request system. Uh, Sonny uh, Dancy uh, lives here. Uh, he's looking for help, and I'm going to go ahead and say Sonny uh, likes to be contacted in person, so I'm going to put Sonny's address on here. Next, Sonny is out of dog treats and needs a rectal thermometer because he doesn't hold a um, <laughs> rectal uh, th thermometer in his mouth very well. Next, no rush. He's having fun with his babies. Next, um, you know, if you're asking for help, you might not be feeling well. So one of the things you can do is you can go ahead and log your temperature or any symptoms you're having so that the person who's coming to see you, if it's in person, can know to either wear proper protective gear or do a completely no contact visit. Finally, if you want to take a picture of something with your phone and attach it, maybe it's medicine you're out of or a specific uh, type of product, you can do that also. I'm going to go ahead and hit submit, and it's done. So that's it. That's all there is to requesting help in the system. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is how you sign up to help people. So the volunteer request system is a little bit more involved because we're trying to understand who's in our neighborhood and what skills, supplies, or equipment they have. Again, it's just a web form that'll work perfectly from your uh, mobile phone or from a computer. So let's go ahead and do that now. 
So unlike Sunny, Luna is really the, the, the rock star of the family for us. She loves to help people out. So Luna's gonna sign up now as a helper. And where is she located? I'm gonna go ahead and put Luna's address in here. Next, Luna's phone number, because we need to be able to uh, contact Luna. Finally, Luna's email, because maybe she's not available on phone, she's only getting email. So let's go ahead and put Luna's email in here. Next, it's gonna ask you for your primary skills. So primary skills, what's the one thing we could count on you for uh, if we were uh, needing help within the neighborhood? Like who should we route these specific skills to? These are completely customizable. If you wanna add more skills, remove them, you can. Uh, but this is where that goes. Well, I'll tell you right now, Luna, is a killer driver. So I'm gonna say her main skill is transport. She, uh, her, her great grandmother was Toonses the cat. So we're gonna go ahead and put that there. Next, we're gonna list secondary skills. So you're gonna list one primary skill, but you can list many secondary skills. So for secondary skills, Luna is great at food prep. She makes a mean bowl of cat chow. She can also come in here and at any time, she probably can help out fixing some stuff. I know she loves to work with cardboard. And then finally, she's a great caregiver. Uh, we'll get right in your lap and, and be very friendly to you. Uh, anything else? Um, she sometimes uh, doesn't like weather. And that's it. Now, Luna, as a volunteer, she might have, besides these skills, some resources. So what types of things can Luna offer to our neighbors in need? So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say, yep, I know she's got some surgical masks. Uh, I know she's got a pulse oximeter because she likes to check her blood oxygen because she gets out of breath and the humidity. Speaking of humidity, I know she's got a portable uh, uh, humidifier and she even has access to a spare room and private bath. Again, the resources are completely customizable. So if we need to add some or, 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 or remove some, we can. And then how does Luna want to be contacted? Well, I know that she spends a lot of time looking at next door. She loves email. She's not real good with phone calls, but she can text. Uh, and she sometimes is on Facebook. Finally, who as a volunteer do you wanna share information with? Do you wanna share it with everyone who requests help or do you want a case by case basis or you do not want any sharing at all? So I'm gonna go ahead and say case by case basis because Luna can be a little finicky and hit submit. So that's it, that's all you do to sign up as a volunteer. So now we have someone in our neighborhood, Sunny, who needs the help and we have someone in our neighborhood, Luna, who has uh, some skills that she can help out with. So let's look at how that part works. And this is really the back part of the system, not anything for most neighbors to worry about, but we're gonna look at how the manual routing and automation could work within the system. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out, jump right into our system and pull up everything we need to see. So right away, if we look in here, you'll see there's a new record uh, in here for a helper, someone named Luna. She loves to drive, that's her primary skill. She's not a big fan of the rain. She's got a room and some beds and some equipment. So you can see all the different things Luna has there. Uh, case by case basis, she doesn't mind helping people out. These are the ways she likes to be contacted. But what about Sunny? Now Sunny contacted us and let us know there was a problem. And sure enough, Sunny's in here, it looks just like a spreadsheet. We can see where Sunny's located. We can see he's out of dog treats. Uh, he didn't list any symptoms. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and assign someone to go out and help. So I know for a fact, because if I come in here and sh search for transportation, that Luna and, and uh, Brienne here can both do that. But Luna and Sunny, even though they're cats and dogs, they actually get along pretty good. So I'm gonna assign this to Luna. What will happen next is an email will go out to Luna and let Luna know what Sunny needs and Sunny and Luna can go ahead and get in contact with each other about supporting each other. It's that simple. Now it's manual. Uh, we're manually routing neighborhood requests, but it's allowing us to go ahead and see the different types of requests that are coming in and keep track of how many people are needing what. Um, also, we can have a dashboard system in here where we can see the total number of requests that are in our neighborhood now, the total number of volunteers in our neighborhood, the types of equipment our neighborhood has, the types of skills, how many days until school is supposed to return. Uh, we can actually also see our neighbors on a map. So a lot of times when we're looking for help, we also might want someone who's literally on the same street. And this allows us to see our volunteers who've signed up who might be closer to you. 
Um, we can also send SMS messages. So super great, flexible backend system for everyone in our neighborhood who wants to go ahead and uh, get help or help out. Well, that's it. So what are some next steps? Well, the first thing, encourage everyone in Wimbledon Estates to watch this video, sign up to help, or if they need help, ask for it. Um, please contact me if you already have signed up. We have about 17 neighbors who've already signed up. I wanna make sure I understand the uh, information you put in there. It looks great to me, but you know, sometimes forms can be uh, challenging. Um, next thing that I think I could use help with is if you have any technical skill and you wanna start to monitor this back end of the system, please contact me. If you'd like to actually enhance it, uh, go ahead and I'll teach you how to do that. If you're in a remote neighborhood and you're seeing this video and you want some just admin help, because this is ready to go. Any neighbor can install the system now. There's a template for it available on the internet. You don't need to know any of this. You can set it up today. And then finally, rest, exercise, and eat well. Regardless of what's happening, uh, taking care of your body is the most important thing you can do. Our next door group, uh, if you're in this right now reading next door, you don't need another group because you're there. Our form is at this URL, but there'll be a link in our group. Our volunteer sign up form is at that URL. And again, please contact me by email or phone if you have any questions. Uh, I'd love to help you guys out. Uh, I think this might be a little bit longer than two weeks. So if you're watching this video sometime in April or maybe even May, don't worry, all this information is still available. If you're not in our neighborhood when we set this up uh, way back in here in March, uh, you can also reach out to me. I'll be glad to give you guys a hand. Take care of each other, and I really appreciate everyone in my neighborhood. I love seeing you guys when I'm out walking sunny, and I know Luna loves visiting to get cat treats. Be well.